Yo! Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. So, I'm Nubru Fruit and in this video I'm going to show you how you can link up your Epic Games account and your Twitch TV account, which is this for example. So, in this video, again, this has been uh, this has been a question that's been popping in my comment section for quite a while, ever since I uploaded the video about this new event, the new like Fortnite event, which allows you to claim a couple of like uh, cool drops via Twitch TV. So, a lot of people have been having trouble linking their both, uh, like both of their accounts, which is understandable. I kind of like, uh, uh, like uh, went through it really, really fast. I said like you can go to settings and I assumed it's like uh, it's gonna be easy to do but then i looked into it after you guys commented and it's really not that easy <laughs> it's kind of tricky so i completely understand and i apologize for not explaining it in detail and this video is all about that so we'll start uh we'll start right now so basically uh you can either go to your uh, like to a website the epicgames.com website or you can go through your uh, epic games launcher it doesn't really matter what whatever device you use as long as you have access to this you're good so we'll close this we'll use the one the website doesn't really matter so first thing you want to do is create two accounts okay the first account i assume you already have is the epic games account so for me my epic games account is noob fruit as you can see right here it's created it's well and done the second thing you need to do is create your twitch account simple uh, like a simple stuff uh really the same steps you just go here you click uh like you open to twitch.tv it's going to ask you to create an account you know you go through all the uh account creation details you just uh, add uh, uh, like a display name a username uh, a password so on and so forth uh should be pretty easy once you have the two accounts created you go to your epic games account right here and uh, basically you just go to uh profile and then you scroll down all the way to account you see this right here you just click that and it's going to take you to your uh, main i guess page so this on the right right here has like my personal information so i'm going to just you know blur that out or just cover it and then of course you can just go to your left uh, left section right here and we're going to scroll down all the way to apps and accounts of course this used to be called connections and before that it used to be called something else so the name changes you have to be kind of smart about it or of course you could just go uh, like do it the slow process and just go and check each and every one of these but basically this is it right here right now it's called apps and accounts you just click that and it's going to show you all the accounts that are linked and that are not linked the things that you can link to your epic games okay so for me as you can see uh my accounts right now are uh like the linked ones are this one right here which is covered uh we have steam right here which is connected as you can see it says remove i can remove this link there's also twitch tv right here as you can see it says noob fruit with my username i can remove that as well there's also other things like playstation network xbox github so on and so forth and you can just connect to those for you since you don't have twitch tv uh connected this is gonna say connect and you're gonna have to click it just like this okay and once you click it a like a big uh, uh like a uh, display thingy is gonna pop up and it's gonna ask you to log into your twitch account and you just put your username and your password it's very simple once you do that you just say authorize epic games and twitch to kind of like understand that you know they're linked together you just click authorize and once you do that everything should be on point and then you can simply go to your twitch tv account and you will see that it is linked up you can always check this can be done in reverse ways by the way you can like you can link the accounts through epic games or you can link the account through twitch itself by going to the same it's kind of the same process you go to uh, your profile picture right here i kind of need to change this and an nf the same the, the new like uh portfo portfolio picture i think that's what it's called the one that i'm using but yeah that's that's for later you go to drops and rewards as you can see you can go to this like through uh, any bunch of means this is just the easiest way i found you just click to drops and rewards and it says right here drops you can manage your connections here you just click here and it's going to take you to your connections and these are the things that are connected to my twitch tv account since i only use twitch tv for epic games i don't use it for any other thing the only thing that is connected is fortnite as you can see by F through epic games so as you can see it says right here disconnect that's because it's already connected but if i want to connect it to other things it uh, i can just click connect as you can see for ubisoft riot games uh twitter tiktok youtube and even steam so if i ever decide to stream on twitch i'll probably just link it to my youtube channel and probably tiktok as well just you know if uh, I'm, I'm thinking about making a tiktok <laughs> like uh, uh, channel and you know I'm, I'm just pondering the idea i'm not too sure yet so let me know if you guys have any thoughts about that i think it could work but who knows uh but yeah this is the basic idea guys you can do it through twitch you can do it through epic games and it should show up right here right here as a connected like channel as you can see and once everything is set up you know, as everything is practically at your at your disposal now all you got to do is just you know how uh, know how to uh, basically take advantage of these drops so in case you didn't know these drops are going to be uh, enabled in uh, streams that have drops enabled so for example nick 30 here has his drops enabled and that's why this is working this like little widget this is like a fortnite event that's, take, that's taking place currently if you want to know how or where you can find uh, streams with drops enabled you can go to browse so let's say you are doing a Fortnite event, you're trying to get some Twitch drops for Fortnite. You go to the Fortnite category right here. 
and you'll see a bunch of streams as you can see right here and uh, some of them are going to have drops enabled so for example this stream right here it says drops uh, this stream right here says exclamation mark drops this one as well this one as well so on and so forth you just click on that stream and you simply just start watching and just wait for uh, the uh, like twitch drops however they are uh, collected for example some twitch drops you only have to watch a certain stream for 30 minutes or an hour uh, this one is kind of unique this fortnite one uh, i'm assuming you're watching this video uh, you're not necessarily a fortnite player so this might not interest you but this one is basically a little event that uh, like whenever you're watching the stream uh, some of these items or like most of these items are going to show up through the stream and as you are watching you have to pay attention which takes it, it took me like a six hours six to eight hours to complete this <laughs> because i was paying half attention and i was doing other stuff i just couldn't be bothered but it took me a lot man and these numbers right here these are the duplicates that i got because you don't get like a different unique item every time but they will show up on the stream you can you'll see it in a second and you just have to click it to claim it. that's how the way it, it works and once you uh collect 14 of these like unique ones you will get this loading screen that's the basic idea this is the entire thing also guys some twitch drops don't automatically go to your account some of them have to be claimed through the twitch system so that is uh doable through this tab right over here if you go to notifications if there is a twitch drop that has to be claimed it will show up here and it'll say for example let's say uh, fortnite loading screen and then it'll have the claim button right here on the right and you just have to click claim on it it's very simple stuff but for this one fortnite kind of like uh, made the process easier and once you collect like uh, the 14 uh, the 14 elements or items whatever you want to call them uh, the loading screen is going to be uh, sent straight to your uh, to your fortnite account it's really that simple so you don't have to, to claim it or anything uh, but yeah this is the basic idea guys you can watch whoever you want uh, preferably uh, uh, like someone you really like because you're going to be watching their stream for quite a while trust me it's, it takes it takes uh, at least like i said six to eight hours if you're paying real real good attention it might take you three hours to complete this stuff so you know it it, it might as well be somebody you like uh, for me personally i like in the k30 uh, i like cypher pk those are the two that i watched uh, to get uh, to get all of these rewards and yeah i highly recommend you go uh, and check them out so this is it uh, this is the thing as you can see just collect it. that's the item it shows up you click it and it's collected so that was the yoda back bank. as you can see i have six yoda back things in total it takes a while uh, but yeah, that's the basic idea guys. I hope this video was helpful enough. I hope it was informative I tried to show you as much detail as I could uh, if there's anything left if you have any trouble Let me know in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer them uh, But yeah, that's it I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to drop a like and of course subscribe if you want to see more content like this Also, if you guys want to support me even further, uh, please do consider using my supporter creator code Which is this right here Let me just go to the shop and it's gonna be right over here So it's noob recruit as you can see without the spaces So because like Fortnite doesn't really accept like spaces in the in the name so it's new new proof straight up you'll find it also in any of my videos like if you scroll down you can just copy paste it i would really really appreciate it if you did it really really helps way more than you think uh but yeah with that out of the way that is pretty much it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed it again thank you again for the support thank you for the love and have yourself a wonderful day slash night bye bye